Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. Now it seems like the longest possible time since I've actually sat down and done a single brand review. In this style of video, we do a deep dive into one standalone skincare brand, work out which of their products are ding, 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 holy grails, and which are more, more, more total fails that you should avoid. Today is the term of the Dr. Sam Bunting skincare line. This is a line which has been around for around two years, and I've finally got the opportunity to try every single one of their products, and I've got some thoughts. We're gonna delve into it, work out whether ultimately there's space for this skincare line in your own skin skincare routine. So sit back, relax, let's talk Dr. Sam Bunting skincare. Now before we get into this, I would love to know your own thoughts, feelings and opinions when it comes to the Dr. Sam Bunting skincare line. Are any of her products true holy grails for you or were all of them a bit of a pass? I would love to know so sound off in the comments section below. No matter what your thoughts are on Dr. Sam and the skincare that we're talking about today, hopefully you'll also want to reach down and give this video a thumbs up and a like. It's a fantastic way of supporting me and the channel because the more likes the video gets, the more widely YouTube will distribute it. We just help as many people as possible to discover our fabulous Mad About Skin family. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you all so, so much to each and every one of you that always takes the time to like the videos. Now, with all that being said, is it time we cut the waffle and just delve straight on in? And I always like to start with these single brand reviews with a little of a backstory of the brand itself. So Dr. Sam Bunting Skincare was created by, well, Dr. Sam Bunting, who is a dermatologist here in the UK, but also a content creator on YouTube. I've left a link to her channel in the description box below if you do want to check it out in more detail. I actually discovered a lot of my skincare favourites, particularly azelaic acid, through Dr. Sam. So I'm always eternally grateful for the advice that I've got from her YouTube channel. And you know, she does it all for free. Even though she's a Harley Street dermatologist, she takes the time to explain things in a lot of detail, free of charge to us here on YouTube. And you know what? I think that is really, really key for a lot of people starting out in skincare. So show her a little love and check it out. And um, because Dr. Sam is a content creator, I always like to be totally open and transparent at this style of video and say, actually, I have never had any dealings, any interactions or messages between myself and Dr. Sam. Whilst I love her channel, we don't have any personal or business relationship. The majority of the products that I tried today, I actually bought with my own money. A couple of them I got in PR and I'll call those out as we go through, but just to be totally open and transparent with you guys from the start. So what are my overall feelings before we get into the individual products? Well, I absolutely love, love, love the packaging. Everything comes in pumps, airtight pumps like that. So if you're the sort of person that hates jars and sticking your fingers to jars and squeezing things out of tubes and you just prefer a pump, this absolutely could be the skincare line for you. It's all very sleek, it's uniform, it looks really professional. I'd say it looks a little on the bougie side, even though we'll come on to the price point in a minute. It's certainly not the most luxurious priced skincare brand out there. The packaging is super robust. I've traveled with these products, they didn't leak. So all of that is a big tick in the box. I think they've got the packaging spot on. In terms of the range of products that they've got, you'll see they actually have a nice collection that I think could absolutely be an entire skincare routine. You could just shop this brand if if you wanted to keep it all simple. I don't, obviously I like to mix and match, but they do have a very comprehensive selection of products, which I really, really appreciate. I think the one downside I can see straight off the bat with this line is the price point. Okay, I do think these are very complex formulations. They have multiple actives in there. So often you can combine multiple steps of your skincare routine into just one of these products. So do bear that in mind. But still, even taking that into consideration, they are on a slightly higher price point than I would personally normally pay for skincare. I think their average serum costs £35, which is around the $40, $45 price point. That is definitely not drugstore and affordable. But when you bear in mind that there's multiple actives in each of these formulations, I don't think it's a terrible price point. And I think it's very fair and reflective of the quality of the formulations themselves. The eye cream is the one product, again, I'm coming on to later, that I think is disproportionately higher priced when compared to the other, but it's also one of my favorites. So you kind of have to offset this. I always say the very best skincare products are the ones that match your skin type, your individual skin's needs, and of course, your budget. So kind of always bear that in mind when we're talking about the price point of any brands. Now, shall we just talk some of the individual products? Like I say, I've tried them all, and I on this channel always like to start with the positivity. Let's talk the ding, 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 holy grails first. My absolute favorite product from the whole line is their recent launch, which is this. This is the Dr. Sam Flawless Nightly Eye Serum. This just sheer perfection. So in here, you've got a beautiful blend of butters and humectants to really hydrate the under eye. It smooths it out. It almost acts like a primer and an eye cream in one. You've also got some allantonin to really calm and soothe the skin. You've got some bacuchiol, which is like a gentle alternative to retinol for some anti-aging, tackling those crow's feet. And all around, if you put this on before you go to bed, you wake up with a beautiful under eye day, guaranteed. It is so, so good. One of the most hydrating eye creams that I've found as well. Now I know this is, in the skincare world, a lot 
of people speak quite disparagingly about eye creams and most of them are just overpriced moisturizers. However, this is one of the few that does have beneficial ingredients that's going to deliver more than just hydration. It's just an all around fantastic, fantastic product to get rid of puffiness, inflammation, dark circles, does it all in one and you start seeing results after just one use, which again is pretty rare with topically applied skincare. I love this. It is one of the most expensive products when you talk like mill for mill, gram for gram, but I definitely, definitely think it's worth it. And one of those products that I will be buying time and time again. I also fell in love with what is actually their cheapest product. This is the Dr. Sam Flawless Cleanser. This is just a nice all-round cleanser. I love the packaging, so the cap like locks. So if you want to travel with it, it won't leak all over your suitcase, which I absolutely appreciate and love. But also you get a reasonable amount of cleanser. I find that one and a half pumps is enough to do the whole face, and it gives a really robust cleanse. If you're wearing multiple layers of SPF, very water-resistant SPF, you know, waterproof makeup, you might want to use this as a second step in a double cleanse. But for most instances, is it'll get it all done in one and it has just the bare faintest amount of foam to it. This is really good because if you want something that has a little bit of lather but won't strip and dry the skin this could be a fantastic fantastic option and it's just it is one of my go-to cleansers day in day out. Kind of does it all. This is definitely one of my go-to cleansers and it's just an all-around fantastic fragrance-free cleanser. If that's what you're looking for this I could definitely definitely recommend. Finally in the holy grails let's top this. This is a Dr. Sam Flawless Brightly Serum. This is like their morning all in one serum. I do love this. So this has my favorite ingredient in skincare, azelaic acid, in a really good concentration. That's going to minimize the appearance of any inflammation and redness in the skin, but also tackle hyperpigmentation, dark spots, and discoloration. You've got a little touch of niacinamide, but not in super high concentrations that could cause redness and irritation like you get with some other brands. This is really well thought through and formulated, which I guess we kind of should expect with, you know, a certified dermatologist who's really formulating these products, but it's just so gorgeous to use. It's got an airtight pump, which I know a lot of people really like that when you don't want to be delving into tubs this could be a great serum option for you and I would say having used this consistently in my morning skincare routine it definitely delivers a brightness to the complexion it'll minimize the appearance of any texture that you have and just give you a really nice glow up a fantastic all-round like one-stop shop serum that I would definitely definitely recommend even though it comes with a slightly higher price point than I would personally normally spend on a serum. Now those are what I call like the true holy grails. There's one other product I want to call out that I don't have today because I actually gave it away to my mom. It wasn't applicable for my skin type and that's their Flawless Revival Mask. This is supposed to be like a deeply nourishing and hydrating overnight mask. It was just too thick and occlusive for my personal skin type. So I gave it to my mom who has a drier skin type to try. She adored it, fell in love, said it was absolutely fantastic. It calmed, soothed, minimized redness, which is very much in keeping with the Dr. Sam brand. She talks a lot of roses about rosacea on her skincare channel. And that you can definitely see that these products are rosacea compatible, which is a great option for anyone that has that specific skin concern. Definitely hydrating and nourishing and offset any dryness that sometimes we can wake up for. I would definitely say though, this is a product that's gonna be like a gold standard for anyone with a drier skin type, just a bit too thick, heavy and occlusive for an oily skin type like mine. So definitely a holy grail, but with a little bit of a caveat to it. Now, all brands, no matter how good they are, will have their ding, 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 holy grails. And they'll also have their wah, 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 total fails. And there's a couple with the Dr. Sam line that I do want to call out. First and foremost, let's talk their flawless daily sunscreen. Now, this isn't a fail when you compare and contrast it to some other sunscreen fails. You know, we've had sunscreens that haven't actually delivered the SPF that the brand was advertising. That's a firm, firm fail. This, proven and tested, which I love. I think the reason I'm saying this is more of a fail is because it does leave quite a noticeable white cast. It's a mineral sunscreen, so that's kind of should be expected. When you put it on the skin, even on my relatively fair skin tone, it definitely left a visible white cast. And for me, it just meant that I wasn't reaching for it in my skincare routine. I don't know if that's picking up on camera it's great if you've got a very fair skin tone i think this could absolutely work and especially if you're looking for a mineral sunscreen it's fragrance free which is, appeals to an awful lot of people and it's got some other beneficial ingredients in here to calm and soothe to me though it was definitely noticeable on the skin and that really just put me off reaching for it definitely not inclusive if you've got a deeper darker or richer skin tone which i think is a shame and hopefully in the future the dr sam lion will have a chemical sunscreen equivalent that i think will just be more accessible to more individual skin tones I will say for this product, it doesn't dry you out like a lot of mineral sunscreens do. So, you know what, if it suits your skin tone and you want a hydrating mineral sunscreen, this could really work, but there's definitely a tackiness to it after you've applied it. Definitely a visible white cast or a hue to the skin. So unfortunately, this isn't one that I would reach for, especially when you consider the higher price point. 
I also want to call out this. This is the Flawless Moisturiser. Now, the only reason I'm including this in the fails is because it has a very similar texture to that Flawless Revival mask that I talked about earlier. And I think the mask had a better ingredient selection. So I personally, if you're looking for a moisturiser and you have a very dry skin type, I personally would reach for the mask over the moisturiser. I think it delivers more. It has a nicer texture to it. Pound for pound in terms of the price point, they're very similar. This, I just think is too heavy for an oily, acne prone skin type. And if you have a drier skin type, you better just going for the mask. So I think it's maybe like, I think it's maybe lost in the collection if I'm totally honest. It does apply nicely to the skin if you can see that. But I've heard some people say, whilst I would recommend this for a drier skin type, I know there's some people out there with dry skin that says actually it's not hydrating enough. So I kind of think maybe it's just missed the mark a little bit in terms of who it's appealing to. That mask, game changing. This maybe is one that I'd pause on. Then finally, this is the Flawless Nightly Serum. Now, they do the Brightly and they do the Nightly. And obviously, they're very similar in terms of their ingredients. They both have azelaic acid in, they both have niacinamide, they have hydrators. The key difference is the Brightly, the morning serum has a vitamin C derivative, whereas the evening serum doesn't have that, it has Bakuchol instead. I actually like to use vitamin C derivative because it's super compatible with everything morning and night. I like my azelaic acid morning and night. So actually what I do is I use the Brightly Serum morning and evening and then I'll just use my over-the-counter retinoid on the top of it to kind of get the anti-aging benefit alongside all the great fantastic ingredients in the serum. Which is why I think this Nightly Serum kind of, I don't see the purpose of it. If you're looking for a super gentle anti-aging night cream, this could absolutely work. But I think for most people, you're better off just using the Brightly Serum twice a day and using your over-counter retinoid because you get better results in the long term and I think again it just cut the cost because there's cheaper retinoids out there rather than having to buy both serums separately. That's just my thought and if you want to know a little bit more about Bakucho which is the standout ingredient in that I did a recent video on it which I will link up there. Check it out and kind of make the right decision for your individual skin type. So there you have it guys, a rundown of my thoughts, feelings and review of the Dr. Sam Bunting skincare line. Overall, I was really impressed. They definitely have more holy grails than they have fails. And even with those fails, it's just because actually I think there's better products from the skincare line that you can kind of customize to meet the same needs so you don't need those products. They're not like true ultimate fails. I What I love most about this skincare line is if you watch Dr. Sam Bunting's content here on YouTube, you can see her philosophy carry through into this skincare line gentle, focusing on azelaic acid and those key active ingredients to minimize redness, the appearance of pores, and just give you a really good skin day and a little bit of brightness and glow to the complexion. Her products definitely deliver that and you can kind of see her stamp and her influence all over them, which I love, love, love to see with influencer skincare. Overall, super, super impressed. The price point, a little bit up there for what I personally would pay for skincare. But when you think about it, work out which are the right products for you and buy those and think, actually, for the amount of active ingredients you're getting in those serums, for example, you can really streamline your skincare routine and cut out multiple products, which ultimately might actually save you some money. So you've kind of got to work that out in your head and look at your individual budget. But I will be repurchasing quite a few of these products in the future. I would love to know your thoughts, feelings, and opinions. So sign up in the comments section below. Wherever you are in the world, guys, stay safe, stay well, and love your skin. Take care. Bye.